we're gonna focus today on the mantis kick. So think about the mantis, you know, we're used to seeing those, uh, the Kung Fu theater movies where you kind of see the guy imitating the movements or the strikes of the mantis. Typically it's gonna be a lot of snapping actions. Um, you're working on re reaction and strikes, offensive and defensive together. But you're gonna see more, um, I wanna see more crescent-like angles with the mantis and some of the other um, systems, especially with some of the uh, animal systems in comparison. But it's gonna, we're gonna practice right now with the rear leg. So I go my left lead, I'm gonna kick with my right leg. And rather than going into a straight snap kick, we're gonna take that snap kick and it's almost like we're gonna do a left roundhouse kick and hit the same target. So we're gonna to try to make the back leg do that similar action, that action that a front roundhouse kick would do. So that's the action we do. So we're coming up straight in the vertical and we're diverting it to a horizontal. So it's a little bit of an unexpected. So either just the hands are here. If you wanna pivot your hands or add your hand movements, either low line or high line, that's fine. But that's what it is. It's snap out, snap out. If I were on the other side, same thing. Rather than me going straight, just with the snap kick, and rather than me going with the lead, lead leg, roundhouse kick, I'm gonna make this rear leg do the action of what normally that front leg would be doing as a snap. So that's the mantis. You can do it, boom, to the groin, boom, to the rib cage, to the face. So come in a frontal motion like a roundhouse, or like a snap kick, and then convert it into a horizontal kick.